taking out the police, taking out ICE, taking out the borders, inflation up, gas prices up. Boy, if these people, if the goal is to destroy everything, they're doing a hell of a job about it, right? They're doing a heck of a job. And here's the key video now that I want you to see here because they're doing it intentionally. And there simply is no doubt about it. Here is a compilation of Democrats talking about why they're doing all of this and uh, you know how you are just gonna have to suck it up, you peon. The future of transportation is electric. Gas prices have hit a new record high in America and expected to keep rising. We need to make sure that it becomes relatively more attractive to have an electric vehicle instead of a gas so You vehicle. want gas prices to go up and oil prices to you go up. You need it to reflect to the true cost of carbon. Number one, no more subsidies for fossil fuel industry. No more drilling on federal lands. No more drilling, including offshore. No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. Ends. Record high gas prices, the national average now at $4.29 a gallon, a 60 cent hike in just one week. The president is really focused on making sure that people are not hurt at the pump. Several around L.A. that are more than six bucks a gallon. If you drive an electric car, this would not be affecting you, clearly. There's no sound or fuel. How many barrels of oil does the U.S. consume per day? I don't have that number in front of me. So how do I know it's actually working? What is the grand home plan to increase oil production in America? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is hilarious. Perhaps if you let the market work in this respect, people will feel pain. They'll take a second look at that Ford F450 gigantoid truck. They'll reconsider a Tesla. I'm willing to pay $4 a gallon. Hell, I'll pay $15 a gallon because I drive a Tesla. I have a Chevy Bolt. That is my car. I lease a Bolt and I lease solar panels. So I drive on sunshine, girl. <sighs> These people are all better than you guys. They have more than you and they want you to know that. Now, I want to admit something here. I just got a new Tesla last week, I did. Uh, I work very hard, I have a couple successful businesses. Uh, I lease the Tesla, which actually is probably not the best idea because Teslas, because of all of this, will retain their value over the years. Um, I'm not against electric cars. The Tesla is one of the coolest uh, innovations that we've had in America, all, worldwide actually, in the last 20 years. It really is. It, it's really like driving a different thing than driving a regular car. Like it's all digital to drive, to go forward. You have to slide your finger up. To go backwards, you have to slide your finger down. Like it's just super cool, the automated driving, all of the stuff, okay? So I'm, I'm not sitting here telling you that electric is bad. It's not. And if we could figure out a way to... to convert to more renewable energy safely and securely and also not destroy the economy at the exact same time. And if any of this would have any real effect on the environment, which is a whole separate topic, knowing that we can only control what we do within our borders, but other countries going through their own industrial revolutions, China, India, for example, huge, massive countries doing whatever they want, if they're gonna keep doing all of that stuff and we're just gonna harm our economy in the name of green energy, we're, we're gonna be worse off. The simple truth is that fossil fuels and gas and fracking and all of these things, and especially nuclear, uh, these are the things that are still the best way to raise more people up out of poverty. They are trying to destroy the whole damn thing. They really are. Here is video of Secretary of Energy, uh, Jennifer Granholm. She was in the little compilation we just showed you there, uh, talking about how we can't let this Ukrainian moment go to waste because there's something else going on here. Maybe it has something to do with the New World Order? As you can imagine, and as you have heard, there is a lot of conversation that is happening right now in, in saying that this crisis in, uh, in Europe and the crisis our allies are facing and the reduction of supply of uh, natural gas and oil from Russia creates a moment that we should be acting. I mean, we heard President Zelensky. We do not want to see uh, any country that is held hostage to Vladimir Putin and this is a moment for Congress to be able to act. There can be a compromise. There can be movement on this. Um, and whether it's, you know, I mean, what the form is and who sponsors are and all of that, that's, a, that's an, a conversation that's happening. But the bottom line is, this is a moment to have this happen. It's an urgent moment. What, this is, what a crazy coincidence, guys. I actually can't believe this. These people who all want us to move off of energy the way we've done it for so long. And we can, again, have that conversation about how we can clean up some things related to all of that and how you actually transition without destroying an economy. 
they suddenly got this war out of nowhere that no one's exactly sure what's going on there. And it's the perfect moment for them to usher in the thing that they want to usher in. These guys, they're the luckiest people on earth. Jennifer Granholm and Joe Biden are lucky. They're just so lucky. And Gay Pete and all of them, they're just so lucky that we got this war so they could do their energy thing. It's just great.